You can also view your activities via the activity calendar. Go to activities and then activity calendar. On the calendar you can see each one of your events based on month, week, or day views. This is the month view showing us all of August. You can see we have some meetings, a camping trip, a service project, and a fundraiser. You can filter the different type of activity types you want shown on your calendar. For instance, if you didn't want to see the meetings on your calendar, just uncheck the box and they're removed. If you wanted to see just the events that you can register for, you can check the show all activities with registration enabled checkbox and that will show you just the activities that you have that you can register for. Now these colors on the calendar are defined under activity types. We went over that in an earlier video but just to recap, you go to activities, define, and activity types. The colors are defined here. As you can see, the meetings are now purple because we changed the color under activity types. I don't really like the purple so let's change that back to to a color more suitable. There we go. Okay, so you can also view information on your activities by double clicking on an event. It'll bring up the same view screen as if you were on the activity management screen. You can print your permission slips and you can register all from the calendar. You can go edit the activity, everything you could do from activity management for these activities you can also do from the calendar. You can add a new activity on a particular day by double clicking on that day. It'll ask if you'd like to add a new activity, just click OK and you can add a new activity as well. The calendar is also in the mobile browser. Each activity is represented by a little dot on that day. You have the same types at the top where you can filter and you can click on them to get to that event. As I mentioned in an earlier video, you can change what's shown on the calendar by changing the title of the event. Just for example, let's change this. Uh, 
Now this, maybe this was a, a leader's meeting instead of one for the scouts. Click save. We only have a maximum number of 20 characters there. So let's get rid of the unit part. Click save. And now the event on your calendar has a more descriptive entry there for you to see on the calendar. If you do not want an event to be displayed on your calendar, you can simply select the event, go to edit, then uncheck the include on calendar slash newsletter and save that activity. Once you do that, it is no longer displayed on your calendar.